How are you today? You look familiar. Did you sell me something before? Not long ago, I brought you a Grammy Award and sold it. This guy came in a while ago and sold my dad a Grammy Award, which we later found out we weren't allowed to sell. So I got to proceed very carefully here. I got something for you. Oh, sweet, a ninja sword. No, that's a samurai sword. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I came down to the pawn shop today to sell my 1600 samurai sword. I got the sword because the client owed me about 300 bucks. I like to sell it because when my wife, when she's angry at me, she kind of looks at it. Do you mind if I open it up? Be very careful, though. It's pretty sharp. Oh, that's nice, man. What do you know about it? Well, this is a Yatsuru sword made in about 1600. OK. So where'd you get this at, man? Well, I'm a lawyer. And my client, you see, he owed me some money on a case I'd done for him. And uh, he left the sword with me. He never came back, so the sword's mine. I think it's something that you probably would like to have. Look at this blade, all right? That's the real deal. It takes special people to do this, you know? I'm wondering if these are blood stains on here. They could be blood stains, they could be rust. One of the things about these swords and one of the ways you can kind of tell that it's old is that they didn't have stainless steel back then. They had carbon steel. So when you touch it, it will actually rust in the spot where you touch it. That's why they had to keep them in the sheaths. And Probably most of these are from spots where it's actually been touched. OK. Samurais were highly skilled Japanese warriors, and their main weapon was their sword. The master swordsmiths who made them really had to make them perfect, so it could take over six months to finish one. One of the problems that you have with these types of swords is that they never really changed the design of them because the original design was the best design. This sword could be 100 years old. It could be 1,000 years old. OK. I mean, it looks as old as you're saying it is. I just wish I knew more about them. It's a shame, too, because I do know a guy who would be able to tell me everything there is to know about this, but he's actually in another state right now. Lately, I've really been trying to prove to my dad that I deserve to be part owner of the shop, but this is a tough call. If I buy this sword without getting it checked out, it could really backfire. But I've seen a few of these sell for thousands of dollars. If this one's legit, it might be just the thing to show them I'm capable of handling risk in a bigger way around here. Any idea what you're looking to get out of it? $5,000. Probably my biggest concern is whether or not this could be restored in the States. That being said, my man, I'm seeing like 800 bucks. That's not even $100 a century on this thing. It's worth every bit of $5,000. Problem I have is that I don't know enough about it to pay you that much. I'll go up to 12. I'll come down to four. If you're going to hold my feet to the fire and make me pay as much as I can, it's going to be 1,500 bucks. I'll come down to 2,000. I've got five of them right there. 1,500 bucks, my man. That's all I'm willing to risk. Deal. Deal? All right. Chum, you want to take care of him? Hell yeah. Meet me at the counter. All right. When he offered me 800, I was ready to jump and do a dance, but I had to keep my cool because the price was still going up. Dude, I could slice the apple right out of the air with that samurai sword. No, you couldn't. Shh. Earlier, our guy brought in a cool old samurai sword. Our sword guy wasn't able to come in and tell us what it's worth, so I took a guess and bought it for $1,500. And of course, Chum won't stop talking about it. He's obsessed with being a ninja, as we all saw from the security video a while ago. So I'm not letting him anywhere near this one. You would have to throw the apple up, Don. I'll take the sword back and chunk it. Chum. It'll be fun. It'll be dope, I'm telling you. What sword are we talking about? I was talking just in general. Go tell your old man what the hell you did this time. I bought an old samurai sword from, like, the 1500s. And who checked it out? It was legit. I was there. So you checked it out? Well, with Corey, yeah. Oh, hell, we're in trouble. Or you realize that there is fake samurai swords out there. Obviously. Well, I mean, there's companies that make them just to look like they're old. I mean, they actually age them and everything else. He bought it from the same dude that sold you that grand. Shut, shut up. Really? Did we all somehow forget that I've been doing this a long time? No, but you got my money out in the wind. You're spending money like you own the place. Look, dude, if I see an opportunity, I'm going to take it. That's what you do. That's what you taught me. I only do it if I have a basic understanding of what I'm looking at. You don't know anything about a samurai sword. I'm not worried about it, guys. It's... All I right. got a buddy coming down to check it out. All right. Corey, 
Don't let Chumwich slice any apples with it. All right, you guys want to leave so we can get back to work? Thank you. Hey, Mike, how you doing, buddy? Hey, what's up, Corey? How you doing? Uh, I got this for you to take a look at, man. I took a shot on it for like 1,500 bucks, and I'm baffled, man. I couldn't tell you what I bought. It's a samurai sword. Shut up, chum. I am a Japanese sword appraiser and dealer. The guys call me up whenever they get something new or interesting, and I help them determine what its current value is. After World War II, it's estimated about 3 million Japanese swords came out of Japan that were confiscated by the occupation forces. Most likely, this is something like that. Okay. Samurais are pretty badass. Well, samurai were very honorable, very determined warriors. So even if you and I were fighting and I admit defeat, I would even ask you honorably to cut off my head and assist me. They wanted to basically show that, OK, I'm a man. This is it. It's my time. And can you help me? Not the way I'd play it, but OK. <laughs> the Japanese warrior, also known as the samurai, was pretty much the professional warrior of the day. The Japanese sword is what gave the samurai his status. You could not be a samurai without the samurai sword. So do you have any concerns about this sword? Pretty much I spent 1500 bucks on something I really don't know that much about. Well, let's see if you got lucky. This is the proper way to take apart a Japanese sword. They've been doing this style for centuries. We take off the handle so we can see if it's signed. And it does have a signature. Is it Yasusugu? Yes, that's right. OK. This maker did not work for merchants. He only worked for high-level samurai. Oh, wow. You see this mark right here? This is the family crest of the Tokugawa family who ruled for 250 years, from 1596 all the way down until the 1800s. And the generations of this swordsmith kept the use of this mark. In Japan, if you were caught using this mark without any permission, you could be beheaded and your entire family as well. Oh, wow. The two symbols that had the most meaning were the imperial family and the Tokugawa family, which is the symbol that's on Kori's sword. And because of this, it's a very rare sword. OK, good. What year was it made? In the late 1600s. This swordsmith is the fifth generation. What do you think it's worth? Well, in as-is condition. It's probably worth about five to 6000 right now. Oh, it's a score, big hoss. So you can take it and restore it for me, right? Well, I can take care of it for you. It'll be about $3,000. And what's it worth after that? Oh, this sword, because he's a rare maker, you're looking at probably about 15000 Take it. <laughs> Appreciate it, Mike. All right. <laughs> I had a knot in my stomach waiting for Mike to get here, but that was exactly the news I needed. I definitely took a bit of a risk on this one, but sometimes you just got to go for it. And I really can't wait to rub it in my dad's face. If this doesn't prove I deserve to be part owner of this place, then I don't know what will. Hey, Mike, what's going on, buddy? Hey, Clay. Well, you remember that sword? Is that the sword? This is it. Ah, oh, sweet. Let me grab everybody real quick. Pops, chum. Earlier, I got an old samurai sword for an absolute steal. And my buddy told me it'd be worth 15 grand restored. I can't wait to see the look on my dad's face when he hears the news. Mike's here with the sword. All right, the one you paid too much for? <laughs> Feast your eyes on this. Wow. When you hand the sword to somebody, you do it with respect to show trust. Mm -hmm. and the edge is to me, so I'm trusting you and giving right. it to you like so. So this is it, huh? Oh, that looks awesome, man. Sweet. That is pretty. You can't get this type of workmanship by using machines. It was all done by hand. I mean, it looks great, Mike. How'd you do it? Well, I sent the blade to my friend, who's a Japanese professionally trained polisher. Then the handle was rewrapped by another friend of mine. And now it's in 100% restored condition. So this sword actually belonged to, to a samurai? Oh, a real samurai. This maker did not work for merchants. He only worked for high-level samurai. So this is a real samurai sword. Let me check it out. No. No. So how sharp is it? It's basically a 28-inch razor blade. <laughs> um, usually, I don't do this, but do you have a piece of paper? Yeah, hold this for me. Here we go. Here's some paper. Oh, 
Oh, wow. <laughs> so, if you notice, that's pretty clean and I didn't swing very hard. Yeah, that's, uh, that's better than I can do with a pair of scissors. Did my idiot grandson make any money off of this? You realize I'm holding like a razor sharp sword right now, right? Oh, shut up. <laughs> so what's something like this worth? The sword is now worth about $15,000. $15,000. What am I paying you? It's $3,300 for all the restoration work we did. So when was the last time you tripled your money, Dad? Grandpa? Sweet. Oh, shut up. Chum, anybody? Every dog gets lucky every once in a while. Yeah, I just remember you screwing up a lot lately. Thanks, Mike. All right. <laughs> Take All right, it easy, Thanks guys. a lot, man. I'll see you later. You have a good day, my friend. I'm getting really tired of being treated like this. I just made a lot of money for this shop, and they're still giving me crap. If they don't start realizing I'm an important part of this company, I might have to go somewhere where I can be appreciated. Let me check it out. Chum, this is for real ninjas, bro. Come on.